Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the lineup for Spain. Jordi Alba plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were... Must score! Can they cover up? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Favouring the short one. Kimmich. And a really good diving stop. Short corner favoured. What's he going to do here? Muda. It's still alive. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Serge Gnabry. Options in the centre. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Well, he's gone short with it. 
And he cuts inside. Able to get a body in the way. Sergio Busquets. A danger here as he runs at them. Carvajal. And return to Koke. Options in the middle. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Kai Havertz. Muller putting his body on the line. Ferran Torres. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Defenders need to cover. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Kai Havertz. Oh, a vital interception. Ferran Torres. And scope for them to produce something exciting. They could nudge in front. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Okay. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Sané. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Torres now Busquets plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce good work to win it back high up the pitch Koke well goodness me into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp well the electronic board showing one additional minute A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. In behind for him to chase. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Gnabry. Takes it. From the keeper, fantastic stop. <laughs> Going short, and well, here's Joshua Kimmy. Go ahead, The save was a good one. Well, another corner following on from the last one. And played short. Goretzka. 
Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. Body on the line. Jordi Alba. An example of how to press. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. Now can they make something happen? A well, disappointing end to the move. Could be a chance to break here. Kai Havertz. Gnabry. And now Havertz. Textbook defending inside the box. Pablo Sarabia. Here's Carvajal. Coquet. to Carvajal he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Thomas Müller Sané could play it in a wonderful intervention Carvajal had pressure to deal with Now, who can he play it to? Morata. On to Sarabia. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no... In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Substitution for the hosts. Time for a change, then. Number 22, Pablo Sarabia. This to make it 1 0. In it goes! A well taken penalty! Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Goal! What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Kimmich. Zane has it. Promising move from Germany. Zane. This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is there time for either side to win it? Well, as you can see, this is a great pass from Sane. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Marcos Lorente, substitution for the hosts. Coming off the pitch, number 19, Leroy Sarabia, to be replaced by number 14. Five minutes remaining, and level pegging here. Laporte. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. 
And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Müller. Jamal Musiala. Havertz. And that's an important intervention. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Well, possibilities in the centre. Carvajal. And making the run to the inside. Llorente must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left. That will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. a defeat in this game Stuart your analysis well Derek certainly not their best performance was it just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance well he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart well that performance sums him up really you're never disappointed with what he gives you such a good player